In this video, we're taking a look at the brand new version of iMovie, the free video editing software for your iPhone or your iPad. So let's go. Hi, my name is Pete, and this is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music and video, because music and video kind of go hand in hand. And yes, with the new version of iOS 13 and iPad OS 13, we have a new version of iMovie here. So for all of you folks who like creating video for free on your iPhone or your iPad, we've got a brand new version. Now, this does require iOS 13 or iPad OS 13 to run, so right up front, I'm going to let you know to get this new version, you need an iPhone 6S, you need an iPad Air 2, an iPad Mini 4, or any iPad Pro or above. And that's what you're going to need to run iOS 13 or iPad OS 13. If you're on iOS 12 or earlier on a different device, you can still continue using your old version of iMovie. So what is new in version 2.2.8 of iMovie? Well, first of all, we have the ability to access files from external hard drives, SD card readers, and USB drives. Yes, we finally have USB file support here in iOS 13 and iPadOS 13, and I'll show you that in this video. We also have support for the new dark mode, which is a very cool way to view your iPhone or iPad, and the new share sheet that we have here for sharing our files and projects in iMovie iOS 13 as well. And finally, we have this one here. When adding new theme music in your project settings, it's going to automatically match the length of your movie. Now, that doesn't look like much, but it's actually a pretty cool feature, and we'll show you that one. And of course, we have those obligatory performance instability improvements here in iMovie. So let's get started. We've downloaded this new version. We're going to tap on open and it's going to drop us into our classic iMovie start screen. Now let's first of all show you how we can actually add in files from a USB drive and add them to our movies here in iMovie. So let's start out by showing how we can bring a video file into our iMovie project using an external USB flash drive. Now to do this, we will need a USB flash drive and we'll need a lightning to USB adapter. Now I recommend this one. This is the lightning to USB 3 adapter by Apple. And the reason I recommend a genuine one is that it's reliable, it's high quality and it will just work every time. And there's a link down in the description if you're looking to pick one of these up. You can use an aftermarket one, but it doesn't always work as well, if at all. Now, the beauty of this one is it also has this, the lightning port, because you will need to power it up because unfortunately, all of or most of that I've tested, your USB drives will require power as well. And if you want to find out more about using USB drives with your iPhone or iPad, check the link up there and in the description. So let's now plug in our USB flash drive into our lightning to USB 3 adapter and nothing happens because what we need to actually do is transfer this file to somewhere that iMovie is going to be able to easily see it. So let's jump over to the files app now and do that. So let's now switch over to our files app. So we'll come in here to files. Now here is my about time, which is the name of this flash drive over here. And let's say we want to bring this hold on video file into our project. Well, the easiest way that I've found to do this is to tap on select here in the top right corner. We're going to tap on the video file hold on and down the bottom here, we can move or duplicate this, but I find that using the new share sheet is actually the easiest way. And this happens to be one of our new functions here in iOS. 13. So let's tap on share and what this will do when it comes up eventually, there we go, is it brings up our new share sheet. So we can share to any of our apps at the top here that are compatible. We can copy and then we can save to save the video. We can add to an album. We can save to files. We can do a bunch of other things. So what we're going to do on this occasion is actually save the video to our camera roll because that is where iMovie sources most of its video clips. So we're going to tap on save video like so, and it's going to go away and save that to our camera roll. So now instead of this being on the flash drive, it's now on our camera roll. So that's super handy because now we can bring it straight into iMovie. So let's jump back in and do that now. 
So let's now switch back over to iMovie by switching back to iMovie like so. And we're going to tap on the big plus button here in the top left and do new project, new movie. Now what we can do here is if we tap on video here, what we should be able to see is right here in our recently added, we can see this video file. So we can tap on that one and then we can tick it to add it in to our new project. We can then tap on create movie and boom, there it is, our new video file. Our video is added in and it's creating our new movie here in iMovie. So that was pretty simple. And the beauty part of this is it's right here on our iPad as part of our photos. So we don't have to worry about it, drawing it from the external drive or having any sort of file corruption issues. It's right there, ready for us to edit. However, that is not the only way that we can bring media in here. If you want to do it a potentially quicker way, but maybe a way that may not work as well, we can actually bring it in from our media browser here. So you'll notice here that we also have this files option that we can use. So let's tap on files and we'll go in here. Now here's all of our recent files, but what we can do is tap on browse in the bottom right corner here. And then we've got the same access to all of our different file locations. So if we go back to about time and let's say we wanted to bring in this image file now, we can tap on that image file like so and that's going to actually bring this in we can add it to the movie by just tapping add to movie and where is it going to go boom right in there next to our video file and this works for audio for video for any other file so yes we can access our entire file browser including files stored on our usb drive just by using the files option and importing them here in imovie super cool now we talked about the share sheet before when we were bringing these files in, but let's hit done on this project and just pop back out here because we've also got the new share sheet for exporting our projects here from iMovie. So if we tap on the share button down here in the middle at the bottom, here is that same share sheet that we have. And we can do the same sort of things. We can export the project, we can save our video, we can save it to files, and we can have access to these other apps, just like we do in every other share sheet here in iOS 13 and iPad. And the other thing that you'll see here is the other new feature. So this share sheet now is nice and dark. So in the previous versions, this would sort of come out really white and blind you because you'd be sitting here with your nice project in the background like this. And then as soon as you hit your share sheet, it would lose that nice dark background and it would be super bright and white. So the new share sheet now has the dark mode support, which is also in there. And if you wanna actually learn how to enable dark mode, I've got a video that will pop up at the end of this one, or if you want to check it out right now, you can click or tap on the link in the top right, and that will take you to that video. Let's continue on now with the other new features. And when I say features, I actually mean feature because we've covered all of them except for this last cool one. And this is where if we've got a video, so say we've got this montage of random weird images that I have here. If we just want to add some quick background audio to this, what we can actually do is go to our project settings option up the top here. So we're going to tap on the settings right up the top, just like that. And then we can actually turn on our theme soundtrack. So if we slide this one on here, then it's going to add instantly some audio here that's going to match that soundtrack now we can choose any of these themes anything from modern to bright to neon to whatever so let's go with something like bright for this one because these are some nice happy photos so we'll tap on bright there and then we'll tap out of there to come back to our project if we hit play on this one now It's gonna start playing that nice bright music behind our project, but here's the cool thing. It's actually matching this background music along here. And as soon as we get to the end of this, it's gonna know when to fade it out. So let's just play the end of this project and I'll show you what I mean. How cool is that? So you're thinking, yeah, that's pretty cool, Pete. But the cooler thing is, what happens if we change the length? So let's just delete a couple of these. We'll just take out these last couple of clips. We don't need Pete wearing weird sunglasses. So we'll take out those last couple of clips. And in fact, let's just take all three of these out. And now let's just see what it's like for 11 seconds with just these two clips. Let's hit play. So it actually matches that. And not only does it finish at the right point, but it kind of starts the song a bit quicker as well. And once again, if we do want to change this, so if we didn't like that theme music, we can come in here and we can change it to a different theme. Let's uh, switch it up to neon perhaps. And that will change the background music. We'll hit play. And 
and we're suddenly very funky. Now, of course, you can add in your own background music and you can do a bunch of other things with audio. In fact, there's a video that I created all about that linked up the top there as well that you can check out. There you go. The brand new features of iOS 13 and iPad OS 13's new version of iMovie version 2.2.8. If you want to check out some more about iMovie, there's two videos linked down below. You can subscribe by clicking or tapping on the link in the top right corner and I'll see you on the next video. Happy creating!